The benefits of fresh organic produce are many, but for some veterans, it goes far beyond nutrition. It's about feeding the mind, body, and soul after serving our country. Joining me now is Margo Macinter, a farmer and head of business development for Eat the Yard. Thanks so much for coming in. Of course, thanks for having me. All right, well, let's start with the farming experience itself. And what you guys do is really twofold, but this started with two Iraq veterans trying to find a new normal. Right, so Steve Smith and James Jeffers both were stationed in Fort Hood together. They mm -hmm. lived in the same barrack, became really close buddies. And when they came back to the States after service, they found that they were having a hard time assimilating back to civilian life and also they were facing health problems from the vaccines and the diet from serving. Mm -hmm. um, so they decided they want to live an organic lifestyle and feed their families solely organic food. So they tore up their yards and started planting and Hey, growing. why not start right there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so they started planting and this literally grew into a business idea. Right, so beyond just feeding their families, they were able to better serve our community. So they established relationships with restaurants, especially in the Bishop Arts District, but all throughout Dallas, where we would sell our produce directly to the restaurants and simultaneously pick up the like compostable waste from those mm -hmm. restaurants and use that to continue to grow food. It goes full circle and really the, the focus is on being sustainable and yeah, eco-friendly. Exactly. So, okay, so and it's volunteer or veterans that volunteer at the farm and it's as much about them helping you guys with this business venture as you helping them. What do they get out of it? So, af well, after some time, Eat the Yard evolved into a non-profit company as well. So we have Eat the Yard and then we have Farmers Assisting Returning Military, which is a nonprofit veterans outreach program. And that is based out of our 17 acre farm in DeSoto. Mm -hmm. So veterans come and they, they work, they live there. We call it dirt therapy. You know, they're working side by side with other veterans or with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, just getting your hands in the dirt and doing manual labor, it's, it's a distraction, but it's also very healing. So it not only heals them, but it gives them a new trade. So the ultimate goal is that by the end of the day, they can actually join the agricultural industry. And there's a for-profit side, and that's actually how we met at the Dallas exactly. Farmers Market. So tell me about that. Yeah, so Eat the Yard, we, so we sell our produce to restaurants and to grocers. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're making a profit, and we also sell at the market. Um, you know, like it just depends on the season and the specialty crops. We have microgreens. We have all like a vi very diverse selection of vegetables and eventually we'll have eggs and meat. Now what's the goal for Eat the Yard ultimately? You guys have a couple of projects in the works. Yeah, so we have a couple big projects coming up. We have a downtown farm development that will be right near the farmer's market mm -hmm. um, and we're still dealing with the lease and all that. And then we right. have another really exciting project that will be on Henderson Avenue. Um, and again, that's, that's still in the works. We're still waiting to hear back from city council, but we should have a couple rooftop farms over there and a couple on ground sites and it's really exciting because we have a, a huge clientele right there. All those restaurants, all those bars would really benefit from our product. Um, and all I have to do is bike down the street. And yeah, it's fantastic. No, I love the idea of urban farming. All right, so people can find out more information on our website, fox4news.com. And again, it's Eat the Yard. Margot, thank you so thank much you. for coming in. Yeah, of course. Thanks.